Hello, Grade 11s. In today's lesson, we will revise simplifying expressions with exponents. We will also look at more difficult examples with negative and rational exponents. Let's start by revising the laws and definitions of exponents. a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the power of m plus n. a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. a, b in brackets to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m times b to the power of m. a over b in brackets to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m over b to the power of m. a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 1 to the power of a is equal to 1. a to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power of n. a b to the power of negative n is equal to a over b to the power of n. a b in brackets to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a b in brackets to the power of n. 1 over a to the power of negative n is equal to a to the power of n. a over b in brackets to the power of negative n is equal to b over a in brackets to the power of n. a to the power of m over n is equal to a to the power of m to the root of n, which is also equal to a to the root of n in brackets to the power of m. It is important to know all the laws and definitions of exponents and to use them regularly. Let's do some problems together. Simplify the following expression. 8 to the power of x times by 6 to the power of x minus 3 times by 9 to the power of x minus 1 over 16 to the power of x minus 1 times by 3 to the power of negative x. Let's start by writing all of the bases as products of their prime factors. 8 becomes 2 cubed. 6 becomes 2 times 3. 9 becomes 3 squared. And 16 becomes 2 to the power of 4. Now raise the exponents inside the brackets to those on the outside. So on the top, we now have 2 to the power of 3x times by 2 to the power of x minus 3 times by 3 to the power of x minus 3 times by 3 to the power of 2x minus 2. At the bottom, we have 2 to the power of 4x minus 4 times by 3 to the power of negative x. On the top, we add the exponents for base 2 to get 2 to the power of 3x plus x minus 3. We also add the exponents for base 3 to get 3 to the power of x minus 3 plus 2x minus 2. At the bottom, nothing changes as we do not have like bases. On top, we now have 2 to the power of 4x minus 3 times by 3 to the power of 3x minus 5. We are dividing like bases, so we can subtract the exponents. This will give us 2 to the power of 4x minus 3 minus 4x minus 4 times by 3 to the power of 3x minus 5 minus negative x. Now we have 2 to the power of 4x minus 3 minus 4x plus 4 times by 3 to the power of 3x minus 5 plus x. And then the final answer will be 2 to the power of 1 times by 3 to the power of 4x minus 5. This problem involved a lot of multiplying and dividing powers. Let's try a more difficult one where the exponents are fractions. Simplify the following expression. On top we have in brackets 
a to the power of two thirds times by b squared times by c to the power of negative two all to the power of a half. At the bottom of the fraction, we have a to the power of a third times by b to the power of negative one. Now on top, let's raise all the powers inside the bracket to the power outside the bracket. This will give us a to the power of one over three, b to the power of one, and c to the power of negative one. The denominator stays the same for now. We've done as much simplifying as we can in the numerator and denominator, so let's gather our like bases. This will give us a to the power of a third minus a third times by b to the power of one minus negative one times by c to the power of negative one. Now we will have a to the power of zero times by b squared times by c to the power of negative one. To finish off this problem, all our exponents need to be positive. We can also see that a is to the power of zero, which is equal to one. This means we don't need to show it in the answer. The final answer will then be b squared over c. Thank you for joining us, grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the exponents and thirds task video. You'll also be able to learn more about exponents and thirds on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.